Welcome to the video or the tutorial about i3. How do I theme my Arch Merge i3? Well, we've just made an XFCE in open box and the result is that I still have the same icons as the open box tutorial. So I chosen for these new mix uh, themes or icons and the new mix arc theme. So it's still um, set like that. So what I'm trying to say is what you set in another desktop environment, he remembers of course and he says, okay, I'm gonna try, uh, not try, but I'm gonna set my icons in i3 the same. So the settings are reused and there are settings in different places. Uh, for instance, we are looking at one of them. So GTK RC 2.0, let's get rid of this one. Oh yeah. Um, this might be good that I have screen fetch on because otherwise you won't see anything at all. Um, not screen fetch, but screen key. It's um, maybe I should install it standard on my system would be better. Otherwise I have to install everything again and again. So screen key, why screen key? Screen key is for you. Not for me. Um, where is it? The little bugger. Preferences. I just wanted to show one and shift is also important. Close. So when I press keys, you see what I'm pressing. Super shift key kills a window. So we're talking about these files. So this tells him to get the Arc Numix Dark theme and the Surfer Numix theme and the font and so on and the breeze and that's that. That's one of the files he's going to read. And there's another file he's going to get, and that's the one in GTK 3.0, settings ini. He's going to read that one as well. Nothing is happening. This is i3, guys. So down here, something is red. Why is it red? Because all editors have been um, set. It's my, my configuration has been set on Workspace 2. So it pops up there, and you see these two more or less they have the same uh, settings but this one is for GTK3. So killing this thing is super shift Q killed. These are the icons. So it's there just to help you in the first hours of need. And Conky inside i3 is a little bit uh, strange. It's not necessary to have any Conkeys there. There is htop to find out how your system is performing. There are other tools. Glances, for instance, is one of the hidden gems. So it's, it's okay. Uh, for the first hours, but the um, question is, do you want to keep it? That's something else. There are other tools for you to check out. Um, okay, so theming, theming things. So maybe we should first talk how I made this video because I had to break my system. You know that I have a dual screen and that's the fun of having dual screens. You can put the workspace is one, two, three, four, five on the left one and six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the right one. And that gives you lots of lot of power. It's 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 great. Um, so I had to break my system in the sense that I had to put everything on one screen. So actually I was mirroring. I have to get uh, them in one place. So where is the setting of i3? Where can I change things? Config i3 config what did i have to, to do what did i have to break this line here execute no startup x render is going to tell me that the output from the hdmi is going to the right of hdmi1 okay automatically so i've got uh, i put a hashtag in front of there and I also renamed this one first monitor HDMI 1 and the other one HDMI 2. So this was what it was originally. So this works on my system. So in order to make this tutorial, I have changed these two things and I have to rechange them after the tutorial. Okay, so you know. Then <coughs> theming. Theming. A lot of things can be changed here as well inside this. Uh, config file I will keep repeating this you need to read this sorry guys how many lines 
Ah, it's okay. It's only 1,000 lines. It's okay. But that's what you need to do. And at, down at the bottom, you see already something about the bar. This is our bar down here. Okay? At the bottom. You can say what height it needs to be, workspace buttons, yes or no, what font, maybe you want a little bit bigger. And um, then the options start. If you want to have another bar with i3 status, so another program, with another configuration file, everything is already set. The only thing you have to do is put a hashtag away and put it back uh, here. Because standard you are working with i3 blocks with a special configuration. You can use an original configuration from the guy who designed it, or girl, I'm not sure, uh, and the awesome um, i3 blocks. So there are different configurations inside this one. So we have two options here, uh, four options there, and a conky as well with lots of colors. You have to have the conky, of course, uh, available. But everything is already set, I think. Let's take a look. So the only thing you have to do is this. And then the idea is what to do next. Well, save, Ctrl S. Great. And how do I get my configuration in there? Super Shift R. Reload. And yes, I did include the font. So these little signs down here are all, all in order. There are zero updates. But as you can see, Mac is saying there are updates. So it just depends um, how he's, he's looking at this thing. And um, it's, it's always a little bit different. I saw already. And we'll see if that's... Uh, something we need to patch or anything but it may be possible that it's just a timing issue that he is not checking for instance the AOR that's a possibility well let's be curious about it and let's check out so the question is um, where is it coming from can we see anyway how we are, can do that I don't think so if we okay well uh, extra 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 community so it's all coming from the normal repositories and not from the AOR so the question is why why or oh why it does not do the updates we could check um, but that's not the goal of the tutorial it's um, to be checked in here at uh, da -da -da. Ba -bum. where is it again let's see I guess it's this one yep and it's pointing to the Conky i3 status bar. Okay, Conky i3 status bar. There you are. And down here somewhere, check updates. We have this code. And it's just doing this one. That's it. So Control C, Control V. Oops, not that one, that one. Control V. Well, control shift V. That's what he's doing. And now he gets a three out of it. And here he's still at zero updates. So strange thing happens. Okay, anyway. So um, the terminal, we saw the terminal here as well. The termite terminal, we fixed it. This in, in one of our previous um, tutorials, we fixed it. We changed it. We went to the themes. There are 79 themes in there and we couldn't go for the Dracula configuration. But I'd rather have my original one back. So this is the original one. And what we could do is say Ctrl A, Ctrl C and then back into the other one. Config. It's down here now. Ctrl A, delete, Ctrl V, save. Backup. So the backup has been put back if we delete this one and ask it back then we see something more arc like at least a little bluish glue and a glow better <laughs> and uh, we see it's transparent so it's it's much nicer so back to the bar all right so the bar we can change the bars great uh, let's get rid of some things here we don't need so the config back to there um, we have now set this one here don't like it get rid of it and get maybe something else like this one, that one, reload, and there you ho have it. You have a new thing here. This is quite normal. We net we cannot 
anticipate every piece of hardware anywhere in the world. So can't read temp, quite normal. Just go check what's in the code, see what's in there and uh, change it because we uh, really, really don't know what hardware you have. So we need to go to i3, check out where we are. We are, have activated i3 status, it's here, i3 status conf. So i3 status conf, where are you? It's still early in the morning, looking over it. Did I open it? Yeah, now I opened it. So we can't read the temperature, just meaning that this thing does not exist. So you have to go in your own system devices and see what it is. So let's get rid of this one. And you really should navigate to sys and so on and so on and so on. And see what does exist in your system. So sys devices platform, sys devices blah, 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 platform. And keep going. Core temperature. Do we have it? Yep, we have it. Done that. Then HW monitor. We have this as well, that as well. And then temp3 input. That's what I ask, but it does not exist. Temp3 input. But temp1 input does exist. And it's 32 degrees. So if I change my configuration file to no, this one, to one instead of three, save, reload. And we have to see country temperature. What did I do wrong? So monitor O, uh, oh yeah. So one, I should have taken one here. So really be very conscious of what you're doing. Like I said, it's still early in the morning. Whoa, it says 45 degrees, oh, 29 degrees, okay, fine. So that's how it works. It's pointing to a little file. Everything in Linux is a little file. <laughs> Great, we can change a lot of things. So that's what you need to do. Check out uh, what's going on on your system. So really go into detail. This is fun. This is digging into your machine. So, okay, we have now the status bar explained. All right, there are also things you can change here. The, the colors, the backgrounds of elements from the windows, the borders here with also these little icons there. So I've chosen for a, a softer kind of look um, to have the, the standard one. But if you go here in the color setups, we have combustion, Arlex Linux blue, Numix orange. Uh, let's take combustion as an example. Ooh, English, okay. and. Here you have the color. When I press Super F, you can take a look. This is what we'll get. I'm scrolling now. Um, this is the look. You want everything in yellow? Great. We called it combustion. It has to have a name. And then we can just change this. This combustion thing, color configuration. We have an, a part. You have to compare the parts down here. And these elements have been changed. They are different than the standard one. So colors, take a look. Background to FFF stuff. Okay, same. EE, same, same, same. This is different. Separator is different. 666. The number of the level. And stuff like that. Oh, the only thing you have to do is say, okay, well, I'm going to try this. Hmm. Looks good. Take it with you, replace it, save, reload. And there you have it, so some yellow lines here, some yellow lines there. And we've changed already a piece of our combustion theme. If you want to change uh, other elements like this guys down here, so color config. How about changing that as well? And when you do it like this, part by part, you see what is changing, what elements you're changing. Now we're changing these things here, these lines up here. So it's that easy. Um, we have 
that's one of the hidden gems again, one of the treasures we provide you if you want to have an Arch Linux Blue. Let's take a look at that one. It's all in blue. I like that a lot. Had it for years. Um, don't want to throw it away. <laughs> that's how it goes. You put in time. So these are colors. By the way, um, what you're looking at are the colors and they are colored, as you can see. That's Atom. So I, I can only recommend you and um, the add-on is called Pigments, I thought. Pigments, I'm pretty sure it's Pigments. And this means that this add-on or package that you can install an add-on is going to color the hexadecimal code and it's quite visual. It's, it's great to have. So do recommend you use uh, one of those tools that provides the color as well. All right, bye. So lots of things. This is the coloring. We're talking about elements of i3. Um, one of the things at some point in time, I hope you do, because it's really not intended um, to keep it, is to get rid of the i3, uh, sorry, of the conkey. Um, it's intended, like I said, for for the first few hours to get in i3 and back out of i3. I see in, in tutorial, tutorials from YouTubers that it's not easy. If you don't know i3, I know it's not easy. It's, it's, it's difficult to navigate. It's difficult to do anything. So it's really necessary you watch more tutorials of mine. Eric Dubois.be. I have explained i3 on Solus, on Ubuntu, on Antagos, on Arch Linux, on Linux Mint i3 works anywhere it's always the same configuration it's it's just so versatile you can change all these things it's just the text change it the way you want it don't like power control get rid of it don't like xfc app finder get rid of it doesn't matter it's there it's in there it's workable it's it's editable it's uh, it's a great tool but you have to invest time you have to read thousand lines you have to investigate I've tried to make it more understandable by these uh, chapters by these divisions execute applications at boot time if you don't want Vivaldi then you change it to Firefox or Google Chrome or Chromium and have to change this as well maybe focus so the focus uh, uh, what it does it's gonna put Firefox as the first window as the first workspace to show so all these little things are so themed already. So many hours went to it, years of, of theming. And here is my configuration. And other people will have their own configuration. And that's okay. It's just copy paste, put it in. It's your thing. And that's great. Um, okay, another thing, theming. So I told you about, about um, these icons. The icons are coming actually from somewhere else. So the settings are coming from files, but of course you don't need to edit these files. You can go to Alex Appearance and say, look, um, it's great to have Arc Numix Dark, more, but today I want to go back to the Arc Crimson Dark, so the red version. Okay, apply, done. We can go to another theme, maybe also a red one, just to keep it the same. Anything red here, up here? No. Too bad. Yeah, I must have something red. Here it is. Surfer red. Okay. Apply. Everything red. Mouse cursor. I want to change it maybe. Please no. I don't know. Apply. And all these things, you just apply whatever you want. It's This is LX appearance. How did I get it? It has changed. Of course we have changed it. So it's open here. And it says, hey guy, you changed something, of course, because we made, or we, we edited, or we used Alex Appearance. So it says Crimson Dark now, and Surf and Love Red. So that's the intention. This has changed, has changed, has changed, has changed. That's the GTK3. So I'm just doing a quick reload, so Super Shift R, and here we have some elements. Uh, you will say, Eric, Eric, look, 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 it's, it's wrong, it's wrong. Okay, kill it and put it back on. There you go. So it needs some time to, to reload all the icons, but there you have it. We have now a red theme 
and if we select things it's going to be red if we go in here it's going to be red so yeah um it's that easy it's it's all you need to know the program because of course it's old f3 please use it so guys from xfc say oh yeah oh yeah here it is where is my hidden gem gem here uh, somebody thought it was awesome uh, so this is my ls and this is my neo fetch scroll over it make it a bit like so yeah the image is, is not possible doesn't matter so this is our this used to be our system so full screen show menu bar bye bye menu bar and there you have it so it's so much fun um, working with this uh, arch merge thing you can learn about xfc then move to open box and then maybe even try i3 because i know I've tried myself, put it away months, I didn't try it, and again, tried it again, tried it again. And finally, I figured I made my own configuration file, and that's, that's the thing. If you start with i3 without configuration file, I will do it in phase 3, arch merged, put i3 on it, you'll see it's nothing like what I'm, what I'm showing now. It's nothing like that. It's because of the configuration file you get this wonderful themed uh, system already out of the box but um, when you have the original configuration file it will be very empty so super five we have this conky get rid of the conky it was one of my goals to do as well so control find where are my conky stuff find 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 execute conky system overview put it here hashtag save reload and what you see, it's still there. Great. Kill all conky. Next time it will not be there because you put an hashtag in front of it. So this is how it's supposed to look. And then you can make your own uh, things here. You can type, you can do a mirror. What is mirror? This is new, guys. It's not on your system yet. It's reflector. Let's show you here, alias. So lots of aliases here. And I've added a new one which says go get me the best uh, uh, servers from arch with https the latest 50 new ones with number only 21 i want to sort them by rates what are the fastest one and put it in mirror list so now i have a fast system and the only thing i do is this alias and it's going to update everything and there i go and i need to update lollipop done check again gone well local database up to date um wallpapers we have the same possibilities here we have variety so wallpaper selector is this is i3 <laughs> this is i3 i can click on this one and that one but i can't really scroll over these things like i could in open box so mm, damn so the only thing we can do is go to next for instance or shortcuts alt arrow or alt n for next and we have our wallpapers that change Ooh, what's that little beast little bug i do alt t that's trashing and we see something nice you do alt f and then it's in your favorites you keep it for next time and it's going to pop up next time soon so it's a random wallpaper showing you random wallpapers wallpapers done there is also nitrogen same program nitrogen is popping up here this is red and you can also of course say that one apply now and then you have to move somewhere else and here you go this is now my wallpaper so conkeys are a bit out of the question in i3 we've done that we've made icons we've made themes with the wallpapers the panel all right can't seem to think of anything else so i guess that's it um have fun theming your i3 give me your screenshots i'm always so pleased when i see them because then i see okay this is what it's, it's truly about people having fun making their own systems just awesome and uh, enjoy what you're doing ciao